Hello everyone, uh, this is Ori Bloop. Welcome back to another Game Builder Garage tutorial. Um, today we will be doing a uh, switching item uh, tutorial. So uh, if you hold anything in your hands or um, anything connected to the head node on, uh, you'll be able to switch it out uh, with a different texture or um, for instance, like a different uh, object. Uh, but if we see here, uh, we have a first person camera and we have a uh, hand texture with a pickaxe. And then if we go ahead and press Y, we will now get an axe. And uh, there are two separate items. Uh, you can add as many as you guys want um, because it's connected to a counter. But let's go ahead and uh, make this thing. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is set up a first person camera. Um, I actually have a link to the uh, tutorial on how to do this. Um, it will be in the top right of this video. Uh, you guys can go ahead and click on that to learn um, exactly how to make this. But um, let's go ahead and actually make um, the item switcher. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is go to objects, game screen slash camera, first person and take our um, head node on out. Um, we're going to want to connect it to our uh, right hand. Of course, you guys could do it uh, to the left hand, but we're going to just go ahead and connect to the right. So if we go to um, objects and simple objects and box, um, we're going to change some things to this box. So go to settings, make size uh, on the X axis uh, 0.10. Um, y is also going to be 0.10. And then Z, um, that's going to be the long part. So it's going to be uh, 1.30 okay and then we're going to turn off destructive destructible uh we need to make sure movable is on because it's going to be connected to the head and uh we can turn off solid and visible um and then for the connection point we're going to put it at um z negative uh to z, uh, i mean sorry not z negative um x negative to x plus um and that should be next to our character um, I'll turn it on visible so you guys can see what it looks like. So um, if we go ahead and connect this to our uh, head node on, you guys can see that we have um, this little box that is next to us. So what we're going to want to do now is um, attach the, uh, the box that the texture is going to be a part of. So if we go to objects, uh, simple objects and box, we're going to change this box a little bit. So go to settings. Uh, turn off destructive, destructible, and solid, uh, and we want to make sure movable is on. Uh, for the size, um, I have the exact dimensions. Uh, we want to keep it at 0 0.80, 0 0.80, and then for the Z, it will be uh, 0.40. And then for the connection point, we want it in front of the, uh, the first block, so it's going to be um, Z negative to Z plus, just like that. And if we go ahead and look in the game, oh, first you gotta connect it to the um, the first box like that. So the first box is connected to the head node on, and then this box is connected to the second box, or the, the first box, I mean. Um, but if we go to edit, we can see that we have um, this big box in front of us, and that is where uh, our texture is going to be going. So go back to edit. We can make these both invisible, so, um, invisible and let's make this one invisible and what we can do is um, we can grab our textures now so what you want to make sure is that the um, this box right here is the same size as your texture so we're gonna go ahead and move these right over here and let's go ahead and uh, just connect them just like that just uh, you can connect them both and now let's go ahead and make the uh, counter system. So uh, go to middle and go to flag counter random and get a counter. Go into the settings of the counter and uh, change it to, uh, I believe it is loop. Yeah, loop. Um, we're going to set the uh, count range 1, 2, 3. Uh, just because this will be going from 1, 2 and then back to one because we only have two items and then make sure you change it to on change from zero because uh, we don't want it to continuously count up and um, 
we need something to count up on this um, counter. So we're going to go to input and we're going to get the uh, Y button. Of course, you guys can map it to any sort of button you want, but let's go and connect it to count up just like that. Uh, we're going to go to middle and we're going to go to comparison and we need two uh, comparison uh, nodons. And then we will be needing uh, two different constants. So go to input. So we need constant one and we also need uh, a constant with two like that. And then we can go ahead and just arrange everything. So for the counter, we're going to connect it to input one of the first comparison and we're going to connect it to the second of the second comparison. Now for one, for the constant, we're going to connect it to input two for the first one. And then we're going to connect constant two to the input of the uh, second one, uh, the second comparison. So what's happening here is when we press Y, it's going to switch between these two comparisons because they're going to be comparing either to one or two. And if we go ahead and press Y, we can see that right here in this top, it goes one, two, one, two, one, two, no matter how many times we press it. And all we have to do is go ahead and connect it to um, this one. So for the first comparison, connect it to the pickaxe. And then the second one, connect it to the axe. And now what we can do is go back into the game and we see that we have our um, pickaxe following our first person camera. And if we press Y, we have our X now. Um, and this can definitely be expanded too. Uh, all you have to do is make sure to increase the counter uh, instead of three to four or however many items you want. And then you would need to do the same thing here. You would need more comparison nodons and more constants, and it would continuously count up uh, depending on how many items you want. But um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a pretty self-explanatory uh, tutorial. Um, hopefully I didn't go too fast. Um, I'm gonna actually link my um, first person UI on the top right just in case you guys want to learn how to um, add some more features to the first person um, camera. But uh, I think that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, catch you in another one. Goodbye.